y'all we're doing a maiden flight um, I came out on a day where I knew the weather wasn't going to be perfect as far as wind goes but I knew that it would be decent as far as the lighting goes so it's kind of cross but we're still going to make it work I've got a special bird here this is uh, one of very few in the US right now mine showed up a little bit late but it is here it's the FMS J11. Um, basically, it's the Chinese version of the SU-27 and SU-30. Uh, this is their uh, their version of it, a licensed version of it. This is supposed to be a China-only plane, but since uh, the CEO of FMS and Rich Baker were able to help get this set up for me to be here. Rich helped with the shipping at the last minute. But um, this is the bird. I'll show you a couple things on it. Um, I've done a special burner to make it look more realistic. I'll have to show you that here in a second. But, um, so here we go. Sorry if there's any wind noise or if you have a hard time hearing, but that's it. So there's the shimmering burner. I have it to where it will do this at idle. And then as you go up, that turns down, and then the burners come on. There's a little bluish tint to it, like the real one. Uh, I tried to make it more blue, but I also wanted, to, wanted it to be seen during the day, so I made it a little more orange. But there's orange and blue in there. You can see it shimmer a little bit with blue. But I uh, wanted, wanted it to be more scale. But this is a cool scheme. It's, um, I like the gray. It's supposed to be for a, a Chinese, the Chinese Air Force. I forget what they call it, but anyway, this is the plane. We're going to go do a flight. So let's go do that. Right, let's do it. Sun's going down a little bit. Wind's still cross. Not that bad. So we'll, uh, Do the best with what we got which ain't a whole lot right now but we gonna do it anyway so let's see how it goes it doesn't feel like it's that bad of a cross so if I gotta come in you shall see what happens He did a range check, caught something major. I was able to catch the gyro being upside down for elevator. So thankfully, I caught that, switched it. I currently have the gyro off to take off and get it trimmed. Once I get it flying, then I'll set the uh, gyro to about half, see what it does, and then uh, go from there. So it's a Koken. 7200 battery pack in there so I'm thinking three minutes will be just fine I'm not gonna fly very very hard because I know it's gonna be hard on battery but it's probably gonna be a little around around about a hundred a hundred amps maybe a little bit more but I have planes that draw much more than that that have been fine on this battery so let's do it hopefully we don't have any wind bothering but uh, if so, I apologize, but let's go. As you can see, totally cross, a little bit off, but yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Got to make something out of this day. mostly straight. I'm in about half throttle right now. No gyro. Seems to be good. 
good. Pretty stable so far and I don't even have the gyro on. Gyro is on now. Still seems really good. My first flight of the day too. All right, turning the gyro down. A little too much. I may not even fly with it. We'll see. Looks like there's too much gain on the rudder. This is all at about half throttle. Just turn it off. Fly with the gyro off. That's great. Throttle. Point five incredible. So we're gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna fly like an idiot. It's windier up at altitude than it is where we are now. So, um, let's see, still okay. 30 seconds, gear down. Get the gear down. Make sure we've got no issues. All gear are down. So we're going to set up for an approach. Up and over the sun. I disabled the air brake. There we go. That's good. I'm gonna go get it because I don't want to suck anything up into that fan. So that wasn't too bad. Um, of course, I came in hot on landing. This just because of the uh, the crosswind. I didn't want to didn't want to push it. That was no gyro either. Plane's pretty stable with no gyro. So I'll work that out. I'll cut the the rudder gain down a little bit because it seemed to be jiggling with the with the uh, gain set the way it was. So let's pull it back. Might get one more flight with it before the. Uh, I don't want to say that. I might fly it again. Put it that way because I still got battery packs for it. Um, I'm pretty impressed with how it flew. Flew great. I've flown the Su-30 before, um, but I didn't like the way it looked. So this is a lot like the Su-30. It is. It's the same plane. Difference being power it has much more power. Was able to fly this um, relaxed at about half throttle with no issues. The SU-30 you'd have been struggling at three quarter. So this setup is significantly improved over stop over the original plane. Now this is the plane. This plane originally came out the same time the SU-30 did, but E-Flight decided to cheap out on the hardware, so it wasn't nearly as good as what this one is. So. Yeah, we'll fly this again. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will get another flight in a little bit. So we're going to get another flight on the J11. That's the pack I'm using. 7200. Out. it is 100c but on that last flight that I did I flew for over three minutes and I came down to 3.8 so it is at least a 7200 but the C rating I know that C rating is not right it is for sure not 100c because the voltage drops too much when it's under load but 
the good thing is it works so for me all that matters to me is that the, the battery works the way that I want it to so I'm able to get the performance out of it it would be better if there was less of a voltage drop but um, because that would equal higher RPM but the fact that I'm able to fly it as hard and as long as I do um, that's what matters to me so um, I usually don't recommend packs till I've had them for at least six months but these have been pretty good so we'll just have to see what happens um, I'm gonna keep going so I've got a special burner in here um, I already showed it off in the other video but I haven't showed the inside so using an AR637TA thanks to the reprogramming for uh, Nate helped me with reprogramming these planes come with a 5.5 uh, volt 8 amp BEC and I don't to me that just doesn't seem like enough so I switched it out to a uh, a ZTW, actually this is a Hobby Star, a Hobby Star, uh, which is the same as ZTW, a Hobby Star uh, 10 amp. So it's uh, five, it's still set at 5.5 volts, but it, it has higher bolt, uh, not bolt, it has a higher burst capability. So let's check out this burner. So I have the burner set up to where I can move the throttle with it off with the motor off but this is it's, it's darker now so it's going to be easier to see as you can see I have it set up to where they it's like a smoldering flame at, um, at idle and then as you go up that goes away once you get to half and the burner comes on it comes on slowly first then as you go up it gets brighter I have it set if you can see in there I have it set to where it's orange and blue like the real deal. I have it set to more orange so that you can see it during the day because if it's blue you can't really see it. But the real plane has really light blue afterburners which is an efficient flame. So uh, without further ado we're going to take this thing out for another flight. So we'll see that in a second. Back on our flight so let's get to the uh, I'm going to pull it out there a little bit and then I'll hit the throttle cut. You can see it flickering there at the lower setting, but I'm going to turn it on to where you actually see the burner. So it's orange is blue and I have blue flickering at high, so let's get this thing in the air. See what it looks like before we run out of light. You can see it flickering from here. I don't like to say flicker shimmer you can see it shimmer it's not flicker real flames don't flicker they shimmer so let's let's do this y'all here we go all right let's go It is a heavy bird. With that big pack up there, it's hard to get her get her going quick. But once you get the plane up and it's moving, cut it back to about half. And she still floats around just fine. I'm a little below a little above half. I'm gonna drop it down. There we go. See if we can up speed. Meant to change the gains before I flew, but forgot. So I've got the plane at right around half throttle right now. The gains are wrong because it's wiggling. So we're going to turn them off. So I need to cut back on um, rudder gain. It's doing a real weird Dutch roll thing. Gain some altitude. I'm going to walk out a little bit. We're going to do a pass. It's windier up high, so. I'm gonna take it easy on the throttle just to be safe on the battery. 
it's windier up high, so it's wiggling around a little bit. The wind's pushing it. So let's get down to this end here. I'm gonna try to do a slow pass and then burn her out of it. There we go. Cool flying plane. Flies oh, great. It is heavy. It is very heavy. And it flies that way. So. Just to be safe, I'm going to come in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, some eight, altitude, five, throttle back, six, get a little landing attitude. Three, two, there, we go. there we go. the end of the runway. To touch up those tips a little bit. Nate's gonna laugh at me, I don't care. Could have landed a little slower, but these pat this pack makes it a little harder. And I with all the stuff um, it makes it hard to see. It's probably hard to tell right now but the depth perception gets off when there's uh, less light. So that was kind of a flubbed landing on my part because I'm supposed to lay land touch down way the hell over there. And I touched down way the hell over here, which is bad. So it rolled too far. And I should have had should have had it in the land proper landing attitude. So eh, it's all right, can't be perfect all the time. And in my case, as is weight, can't be perfect at all. So let's uh take a look at these burners here in the back. And that's gonna be it for it for today. Well, that's it.